Hi everyone, welcome to Studio at Home. I'm Danielle Hatch, an educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. For today's Studio at Home project, I'm going to show you how to create a shadow box sculpture inspired by one of art's most famous homebodies, Joseph Cornell. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. Cornell is renowned for his poetic boxed assemblages created from everyday objects and photos. Though Cornell spent much of his life in a small home in Queens that he shared with his mother and brother, his imagination traveled widely through his work, which explored themes of history, science, and the women that inspired him. Cornell's shadow box, untitled Palais de Cristal from 1953, is part of the Crystal Bridges Permanent Collection. See the link below for more information. So here are some of the materials that you'll need to create your shadow box sculpture. First, you'll need to find a box to use. This box can be any size from a shoe box to something as small as a tea box. Next, you'll want to find either some glue or some tape to attach your objects to your box and some scissors to cut up any two-dimensional uh, paper that you wanna incorporate. Now, the fun part. Walk around your home or your neighborhood and start collecting things. This can be magazine, little scraps of paper. I brought this shoe box around with me and found anything from seashells, playing cards, scraps of fabric, a Lego mummy, Whatever looks interesting or catches your attention, collect it in your box and bring it back to your table. So your first step in creating your shadow box is to begin by sorting through the objects and images you've collected. You can select items in your box based on a theme like nature. Joseph Cornell created many boxes inspired by actresses and ballerinas that he admired. Or you can simply begin by selecting random items that you're drawn to. Begin to think about how the various items relate to one another. For instance, what happens to this Lego figurine when you place them next to the image of this English writer? All of a sudden there's a relationship between these two objects and images. Step two, once you've selected your items, now you can begin to arrange them in your box. Think about how the items will inhabit this small world. Think about the scale of the objects within the space. Is everything life size? Or do some things appear much larger or smaller than they do in real life? And think about what is your relationship to each of these items? And what emotions do you feel when you start to put them together? Step three, now that you've decided how you want to arrange your items in your box, you're going to begin attaching these objects and images. You're gonna begin with the background images and objects, anything that's um, attached directly to the back of the box or the side. So you can use glue or tape to do this. Step three, now that you've glued your items onto the background, you can begin to start to layer on top until you reach all the way to the foreground, which is gonna be the very front of your box. So I'm gonna use some glue again to attach this little piece of fabric. Now that you've attached all of the objects and images to your box, give it some time to dry. Now that you've created your very own shadow box sculpture, we'd love to see what you made. So please share an image of what you created on social media using the hashtag CB from home.